Hey tubers, Motorhome Matt here. How you doing? Well, if you saw my last video, um, I did a short little explanation of how to put a toggle switch on your auto park to help fix the uh, the stuck in auto park conundrum that a lot of us have come against. Come against. If you haven't seen it, by all means, look it up on my channel. It's a very informative video. Mind if I smoke? Good. So, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the auto park today, about adjusting the auto park. I've been seeing a lot of videos and posts on websites and RV sites about adjusting the cable coming from your auto park and how it works in, con in conjunction with the cable from your emergency brake pedal. And most of them had all these horrible warnings about if you get one out of adjustment and the other one's not adjusted accordingly, then your motorhome will turn to dust and explode. Okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it'll be bad. So, I did a lot of research on it, underneath my motorhome a lot. Um, turns out if you adjust that cable to make it pull farther, to get more more pull on your auto park, you can actually be causing a cam on the inside to overextend and go past all the way out too far, and the brake shoes will actually move out and then back in a little bit. So I'm going to tell everybody out there my personal recommendation, just a recommendation. Um, don't adjust that cable. What I did is I put mine back to the original setting where I had originally had it set. You can see old threads, new threads. Put it back where it was. There's an adjustment hole on the drum of your auto park. Now, on the back of your transmission, the very back, you'll see a good old-fashioned drum brake. And your drive shaft bolts right to that. This is assuming you have a gas uh, puller, not a diesel pusher. Now, you've got a diesel pusher, you're going to have to pay someone bucks to do this. There's an adjustment hole, just like on an older car with drum brakes. Normally, it's on the bottom on a car. If you look at your drum, there is an adjustment hole on it. You want to get one tire off the ground, chalk your tires, kids. Be safe. You do not want a motorhome falling on you. Um, one, one rear tire off the ground. I put the driver's side tire about an inch off the ground, chalk the wheels, and uh, in neutral with auto park off. And you can grab the drum, and you can rotate the entire drive train slowly, and you want to bring the adjustment hole to the 1130 position. On a car, it's normally in the very bottom. On your auto park, it's going to be at approximately 1130. You can put it at straight up and down 12 o'clock, but you want to walk back about 30, 30 minutes. And uh, it's no different than adjusting your drum brakes. Use your brake tool or a flathead screwdriver. Stick it in with the handle up. Underneath the little teeth on the cog, pull it down. You'll hear it go click, 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 click. Don't go nuts on it. Don't crank it down until it won't turn anymore. Get a couple rotations on it. Test your movement. A rotation or two, a couple. As soon as you start feeling a little bit of drag or hearing the brake shoes just barely touching the drum, stop. Turn on your auto park. See if you can turn it. You want to try it even more? Go to the rear tire that's off the ground. Try to turn that. It shouldn't move. Your average auto park will only need a minor adjustment. Um, I'd say one time down with the screwdriver, maybe two. My problem was my auto park kicked in on, on me on the freeway doing 65, as you might have seen in my last post. And that, that took off at least, at least half my pads. These pads are designed to keep a stationary drum stationary. This unit is not designed to work like standard drum brakes and slow you down over and over again from speed. So I, I, I could have even destroyed my pads, I'm not sure. I had to adjust mine way out, and now it only partially works. So what I need to do is I need to get in there and replace the brake shoes in my auto park system. This is going to be a lot of fun. Um, rather than sit here and gab at you from my basement with my wonderful hair, all a must. Yeah, I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. Don't give me crap. Um, I have a uh, GMC or GM workhorse chassis on my my 38 foot motorhome, 36 foot motorhome. It's a big old dog, and uh, the Dutch Star. I named her Ula because she's got a big ass. Ula dance now. 
And uh, I'm going to actually remove my drive shaft from the uh, from the auto part. I'm going to pull the drum off, and it should be pretty straightforward, just like doing rear brakes on a on a drum brake car. Except this time, you don't have hydraulics to worry about. It's just uh, like an emergency brake cog. Hoping it'll be pretty straight and simple. I just got to figure out who the hell do you order. Uh, uh, this would make the kid at AutoZone just pee himself. So, obviously, I'm going to have to do a little more research as to what auto park I have, who to order the brake shoes from, blah, 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 blah. Um, are they comparable to, can I just go out and get rear brakes off a 1973 Ford F-150? I mean, yeah, there has to be some sort of brake shoe that is comparable. So, as long as it's uh, compatible, I'm going to put them on. And I, well, I'm actually going to make a video on that one, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, but once again, don't adjust the cables. Don't adjust your emergency brake. Adjust your shoes. It was very easy, simple, straightforward. And uh, I have much better auto park now. But I can tell my brake shoes are gone because my, my emergency brake pedal goes to the floor and does almost no good. When my, my auto, auto park is on, it holds me in place. But if I'm on any major hill at all, and I don't even mean major, I mean a good slope, it'll roll immediately. Um, my park was destroyed from a very steep driveway to at a campsite one day. Yes, I know. I need to fix it. You pay for it. Um, so right now, I just got to get my auto park fixed. Um, and I invested in some chocks for the wheels. So uh, there will be a video coming of me underneath the, the motorhome. Um, uh, not only installing this, the new shoes in my auto park, but adjusting them also. So if you have any questions, about what I uh, what I was just talking about or what I'm going to be doing. Um, don't worry. Hopefully, I'll answer some of them in the upcoming video. Um, if anybody can help me out and you know a good place to figure out where I can get brake shoes for a, a workhorse chassis auto park system, uh, I think the 98 or 99 Numar, Dutch Star, Dutch Star, Numar, New Star. Yeah. So, you know, maybe you can help me out. Leave something in the comments. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, here pretty soon I'm going to be uh, making a video about my AC, DC gas refrigerator. And that's going to be nothing but carnage because it, it needs to come out. Um, just did an exhaust gasket on the good old 454. And it blew again in one trip. So I think there's something either wrong with my uh, exhaust manifold or I'm not getting a a chunk of bad gasket off or something. Something's holding it up, letting, not letting it, it make correctly to the head. And uh, we're going to be getting tires here pretty soon. Um, that's going to suck. I'm going to have someone else do it, obviously, but I know it ain't going to be cheap. I'm starting to show signs of dry rot on the sidewalls. That's no good. And uh, we're going to be servicing the hydraulics. I have an older hydraulics, so when you, when you activate the hydraulics, they swing down and then go. The problem I'm having is they're only swinging a quarter of the way down and then going, and then trying to finish swinging down and hitting the ground and just making the motorhome do stupid shit. I have to activate them and deactivate them over and over again until they all do their thing. I'm hoping it's just a matter of some PB blaster and a good greasing, but uh, <laughs> we shall see. And i uh, going to be taking the carpet off of my slide out, my living room slide out, and uh going to be re uh reflooring the slide out and putting a an all new uh baseboard along the front of it. I'll do, do a little short video about that. And we just finished uh doing uh and you're going to think I'm crazy brown paper flooring. Look it up. It's kind of neat. We just did that on the engine compartment on the engine compartment cover as a test and uh it came out pretty nice. So we're going to do the entire front section where the, the two front seats are in the engine compartment. And we're probably going to end up doing the uh, the floor of the slide out. We've already ripped out the old carpet in the main living area and put in some uh, linoleum, linoleum tiles, whatever you want to call it. And uh, any chance to get rid of that old nasty carpet. It's been in there a while, hasn't it, guys? Can you imagine what was in there before you got your motor home? So you have any questions, any comments, let me know. And... Uh, Hey, motorhome mat. It's old. I fix it every single day.
Take it easy, doobies.